And I am back. My dad was nice enough to wake up at an ungodly hour to get me back out here. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm out here pre-dawn instead of, you know, taking a zero or anything, uh, heat wave protocols. It is supposed to be back up to 96, 99 today. So I decided to stay with my parents last night since I made it to Canyon City anyway and trying to stealth right outside the town. Probably would have upset my mother. And then I decided to start hiking pre-dawn today. I will go until about noon when I would normally take a siesta. And then my parents are gonna come pick me up up the road. Now, of course, most of my friends would take this as an opportunity to slack pack, etc. Because I am me, I have all my usual gear with me. The only uh, change I made, I have new shoes, which I, I, I'm quite happy about because my feet were hurting me yesterday. <laughs> and I'm trying a uh, pair of hiking pants just because the mosquitoes were so bad. And I've gotten a little uncomfortable with the amount of sun exposure I've been getting. They picked me up between 7.30 and 8 o'clock yesterday after I knocked out a 30 mile day. Went back, ate, talked, showered, collapsed, woke up at uh, 3.45 in the morning. So should be back to their house sometime in the early afternoon. Uh, current plan is to spend a day and a half. So I'll spend the remainder of today. Tomorrow will be a zero day and then I'm thinking I will leave relatively early the day after. As it turns out though, Cripple Creek is the next town after Canyon City. And I was looking and I'm like, huh, the highs are only 75 up there. Turns out Cripple Creek's at like 9,500, so I've got the better part of 4,000 feet of gain. I'm not trying to make it all the way to Cripple Creek today. I'm just uh, hiking until I figure 11, 30, 12 o'clock is usually when things get too warm to continue. So who knows, I might have been able to make it all the way up high enough where I wouldn't have had the siesta, but I still have a lot of things to do. I need to clear off space on my phone and get ready for the next hundred some days. Hopefully, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna be out here until after Thanksgiving. Stuff like this spoils me. I had comfortable clothes and mom woke up at 3.45 in the morning and made coffee and a bagel sandwich with, for me with like tomatoes and avocado. <laughs> and now I will be, well, in a day or two back to normal trail fare. Part of me would very much like to spend some more time, but I have to watch myself here. I mean, I'll see him again when I come to pick up my Jeep in November. And when I come to drop it off in March, April, somewhere around there, June. But if I, if I only hike when I feel like it, I would probably be back in West Virginia somewhere right now. I always have to keep my foot on the pedal and not let myself get comfortable. If I don't make it, to San Francisco this year, you know, it is, th that was a stretch goal to begin with, but it's gonna hurt if I'm within five days of Reno and that's when the Sierra crossings start to get undoable. This is actually a cool little trail through here. I've walked from my parents down to this before. It's usually a lot of folks fishing and things. Oh, this is the Arkansas, this is why Jen was so amused at seeing it being a little trickle in a ditch out in uh, Kansas, just because she'd seen it out here. If my parents didn't live here, I totally could have stealthed. Pretty sure my mother would have been offended though. While it is nice seeing my parents, this is going to be a struggle. I had the same thing at Twin Lakes on the Continental Divide Trail. Because at least for me, there's a certain mindset that comes with being out here. I did a trail talk video on that a while back, but I'm basically used to just living out of my pack. You know, I'm grateful for the little comfort that a stay in a bed at a hotel takes, but I'm used to not having access to my laptop, comfortable clothes, things like that. So when all of a sudden those are introduced, it can be a struggle to walk away from. And also just having, you know, friendly folks to talk to, the kind of comfort of being around home. I didn't struggle with that so much last year when I was injured. I took a 
small fall on the Continental Divide Trail. I had to get helicoptered off and I was back here for three weeks recovering. But that was just because I was so raring to go. That was pretty much overwhelmed. I was jogging out of uh, Abiquiu because I couldn't wait to get back. So while it is nice to be able to see them, it is going to be kind of the same thing I went through yesterday, the day before, when Jen left, just as far as it uh, feels more isolating being out here. Okay, so so much for Starbucks. There is a different coffee shop that's 0.4 off to the side, but which is such limited time today. I think I'll call the uh, couple of cups I had at my parents good. Just pound this out. I feel like I've already done more gain this morning than I have a whole month. kind of afraid I was going to have trucks up here. Looks like I'm in a windy canyon mode for road for another 20 some miles. I am really enjoying the scenery, but I am just dragging today. Maybe you could blame it on the altitude, but I'm only a thousand or two higher than where I have been, so I'm kind of hesitant to just go, oh yeah, so that, it must be the altitude. Feels like coming back home. Okay, 12 o'clock. Not as hot as I'd feared up here, but it is pretty warm, and <laughs> I am dragging pretty hard. I'm ready to go back and rest a bit. I hadn't had time to do much other than shower last night, so when my parents picked me up after about 15 miles, we went straight for Mexican food and I basically ate as much as I could possibly get down. After which we headed back to their place. I finally got to shave, I did laundry, and I got to work. So the heat wave actually hasn't been as bad as anticipated and they've been getting afternoon uh, covering clouds. So I'm kind of hopeful for tomorrow. Honestly, I do wish I could spare another day or two off because my feet hurt and I am tired and I've got a lot to do, but I'm on a schedule here. <laughs> Winter's not gonna wait for me. So I'm gonna get some stuff done in the morning, drink a lot of coffee, get going and do like a half day, I think.